Okay, hi everyone, welcome back. And in this video, we are going to check out Fetch AI's price chart and see what is going on in terms of Elliott Waves, classic technical analysis, and also indicators. Now, before we see what is happening in the short term, I need to tell you that in the long term, I am absolutely 100% bullish on FET because I think this is a one, two, three, four, five wave on the upside into a larger TV wave one and then. We are having most likely in here an ABC in form of a zigzag structure into wave two. And the idea is that from here, going up in fresh AI, we are on our way to complete the subwaves for this larger to give wave three. And this might be one, two, big move up into wave three. And as you can see, according to this scenario, it seems like that at the moment we are having a correction structure into this wave four. And after our correction is over, or maybe it's actually over already we are going to get another big move up into wave 5 and just a minimum target for this move is going to be setting an all-time high and taking the highest side in here about let's say three and a half dollars so in the long term we are going to be bullish and even when we complete this red one two three four five wave on the upside our move up is actually not going to be over so we are going to get a move down, but chances are that move is just going to be a correction into this wave 4. And after it's over, we can expect our uptrend to continue into this wave 5 right in here and set another all-time high. So again, in the long term, we are extremely bullish. And by the way, no, just because I put this wave 5 to somewhere around $400 doesn't mean that we're going to go there, okay? These are just to show the general patterns. Now, Let's go on some lower time frames and see what is going on. And I think at the moment, we need to actually be very, very careful in Fetch AI's price chart. You see, if you want to argue that our correction for wave 4 actually ended to somewhere around the lowest low, well, okay, I guess you can find a WXY potentially in form of a flat and a zigzag in here. And you can say maybe this is going to be ABC flat into wave W and then wxy correction into wave x and from here to about the lowest slope we can have an a b c zigzag on the downside into wave y so you see technically this is a reason to be bullish but it's not actually enough you see if you want to argue that for example we are going to have our final bottom somewhere around this area maybe this is going to be a very important support off of it you need to be able to find in terms of elliott waves a five wave on the upside this thing right in here is a normal five wave the rules for it are we shouldn't have overlapping of the waves between wave two and wave four and in any kind of impulsive movement wave three in here shouldn't be the smallest wave and for the sub waves five up into wave one three and five there we go let's actually change the colors to maybe red sure and also this one and this is going to be our final five wave into wave five and for our corrections let's say sure wxy into four and an a b c s rusher into wave two basically for wave two and four we can consider many many different possibilities now we said it earlier this is a normal five wave we can also have another kind of impulsive structure and this specific example is going to be an expanding leading diagonal in that pattern this is going to be again our initial move up into wave one correction for wave two big move up into wave three which has to be larger than wave one correction for our wave four is going to be bigger than this wave two and also unlike a normal five wave in here we must actually have overlapping of the waves between wave 4 and wave 2 again very important point we must have it and this is going to be our final move on the upside into this wave 5 which is going to be the largest wave in this structure and for the sub waves it's actually pretty much the same as a normal 5 wave meaning 5 up into wave 1 3 and 5 but here's the deal if you 100% want to go according to the rules, you need to say that for wave 2 and 4, we must have ABCs. Again, very important point. We must have them. Understood? Nice. Because we are now going to count some sub waves. And I think technically we can still have something like this in Fetch A or Spice Chart. Let's go on the live chart and see what is going on in here. So here is the situation. We are having off of the lowest slope, 5 wave up into wave 1 and then a correction for wave 2 and followed by that big move up into wave 3 and now we are having a move down 
and maybe this is going to be a correction structure into this wave 4 and after it we are going to get another move on the upside into wave 5 so if something like this happens okay we are going to be very very bullish in fet however unfortunately in my opinion this may not be in play anymore and instead we may have something like this you see i think now this is going to be an a b c in form of a zigzag structure on the upside and if we remember the last time that we talked about fish ai we were somewhere around these areas and i said well okay because now we are having overlapping of the base between this move and also this one well okay at that point i'm not going to be bullish as long as we're not getting back above this very very important resistance area which the lower band of it is about one and a half and the higher band of it is about 1.75 dollars because i said well okay you might see this move down continue for quite a bit and in that move if we take this low right in here at that point you might be able to say that okay maybe this is a one two and then big move down into wave three correction for four and we're gonna have another move down into wave five and as you can see unfortunately this scenario right in here is actually starting to play out and that's why in my opinion we need to be a bit careful now here's the deal it's not all bad news you see in terms of classic da at the moment we are around a very very important support area between let's say 1.1 to about 1.2 dollars and as long as we are staying above it and we're not seeing fish ai getting a solid break of this region we can technically still be optimistic and say our move down is going to be over soon but if you see again a move down in fish ai in an attempt to go under this region and then pull back and then a continuation of the move down in an attempt to take this low at that point i'm going to tell you there's a very very good chance that this move down right in here is going to continue for quite a bit and for example we may have starting from this high five wave down into a larger degree wave a and followed by that correction for wave b and then we're gonna have unfortunately another move down into our c leg which again suggests pretty much the same our move down is going to continue for quite some time so right now we're not seeing necessarily the best signs in fresh ai price chart and that's why in my opinion we need to be very very careful but again as long as we are staying above this area technically we can still be optimistic when is the time to buy fresh ai i'm going to say when we manage to get back above this very very important resistance area and then pull back any continuation of the move up if we do something like this in fet and when we do it we can be very very bullish with a lot of confidence and we can actually start buying fet but as long as we're not seeing that move in my opinion it is going to be way too soon to fully bullish now what is going on in terms of indicators let's go on some higher time frames and see what is going on in here let's zoom a bit more excuse me there we go so as you can see we are having still unfortunately a sell signal in acti which suggests that our downtrend may not be over yet and we are having in here a buy signal in stock rsi but it seems like that if this move down in fet is going to continue for another week chances are that you may also see a sell signal in here and at that point if at the same time we manage to get a solid break of this support which the lower band of it is about 1.1 dollars you can safely assume that our move down is definitely not going to be over and it's actually going to continue for quite a bit and in daily time frame what's happening okay this is another unfortunately very sign because we are having now a confirmed sell signal in macd and stock rsi at the same time so as you can see at the moment we are seeing some very very strong bearish signs in terms of elliott waves we are having it seems like a five wave impulsive structure down in terms of indicators in daily time frame we are having sell signals in stock rsi and macd at the same time but if you want to have a very important bearish confirmation that suggests this move down is going to continue for quite a bit i think you need to wait a bit more and see are we going to get a solid break of this support area or not if we break it well okay at that point we are going to be bearish for quite some time with a lot of confidence so 
I hope I explain everything well and you understood what is going on in FET's price chart. Anyway, if you found any value in my content, I would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on Twitter. And if you want more, maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto, or maybe you want to learn some solid TA in order to be able to make good money in the markets, you can become a member and ask me anything you want. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.